Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power of Trading Hour. As always, we come to you at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? Some pretty massive selling. Uh, I Yesterday and the day before, I guess mostly yesterday, uh, we talked, uh, or at least I said, um, I was suspicious of a big gap down today. And that as far as I could tell, the market wasn't acting any different than it was the day before. You had these kind of minimal bounces, uh, and then they get rapidly sold. And at the end of the day, everybody runs for the exits. I would say right now that we have probably a better, maybe 85% chance, uh, probably going up a little bit higher, uh, that we are going to go down and test that big S&P low uh, that we talked about the other day. Let me get it up here so we can go to it. And that is it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, 36, 36, 87. That only had about 7 billion shares, a pretty light volume. And that was a fairly light volume test of a previous low. But guess what? The energy on the way down wasn't. Um, now we're, we just have this, what is probably a very wide uh, trading range. Now, have we gotten into the candle? We did. Um, too much volume today, yes. Uh, you know, you want it to be less than uh, 7 billion shares. Now, this is a little different than the CBOE volume. We're doing about 5 billion now, so you'd have to have 7 billion. I think that you'll probably get there, so the volume's about the same. Uh, what you would like is not to pierce that 36, uh, 36, 87 low from June 17th. You'd like to wait and try that on Monday morning, and that one be a very lighter day than today. But we shall see. The energy, I mean, is it a complete disaster? We, were, we had 10 times more energy on the way down? No. But is it just a bigger trading range out here uh, where we actually have, what, uh, darn near a 700-point uh, range? Almost 700-point range. In the S and P, it could. It may be the best trading we've ever had in our lives. Uh, the uh, thirty six, thirty six, eighty seven may fall like the uh, uh, soldiers at the end of the movie Three Hundred. They may just eventually be overwhelmed. No matter how much uh, they've uh, pumped themselves up and oiled themselves down, eh, you knew how the end of that war ended. Well, I mean, the end of that battle, anyway. 877-927-6648. I've had a lot of people emailing me, telling me that the market's going to go straight up today. Uh, I don't see anything out here that says that we have a low before probably Monday. But uh, I'd love your phone call if you think differently. And tell me how today the market is trading any differently than it traded yesterday. Because generally that's what you're looking for. Some major tick, some symbol out there a burning bush which is my favorite euphemism for a big signal that a blind person couldn't miss because that's generally the way these things happen they don't come out and they're not subtle like tina turner uh, they're not easy they like to do it hard and you generally get that so today you're probably going to have a little bit too much volume you'd like it to dip in there and uh, get out of there not have a lot of people believe it maybe on Monday or Tuesday, but you'd love to see that 3636 not only touch, but pierce. Have a lot of people just give up the ghost uh, and the retail traders give it up uh, because uh, generally when they throw the baby out with the bathwater, generally it's a good sign that you're within a day or so of a viable low. At the moment, I don't see anything that says that. 
Uh, if we get a big washout, maybe at the close, you might get it. I still would rather try to trade uh, Sunday night in the futures uh, than be uh, locked into any kind of uh, either uh, futures or uh, well, not even just futures, options or equities before Monday morning. Again, 877-927-6648. Okay. And what else do we have here? Okay. Yeah, looks like we're fading once again. Like I said, it did, I don't get any sense uh, that we are going to, or that we do have uh, anything different than we've had the last couple of days. That is, a lot of people teeing up to sell the clubs. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and get to some of the stuff that I was talking about uh, in the update. And that is the UK lifts the fracking ban. Uh, we are now starting to see the uh, Western block of Europe uh, cave in. And that is uh, not only um, are we gonna have problems buying more energy because of a massive recession slash depression in the Western economies, but at the same time, uh, they're doing everything they can to get crude oil prices down over there. Uh, it's going to take a while. I think the shock and awe of today will fade over next week, especially if we get that hurricane going back up as the patterns generally. I'm going to say 29 out of 30 times uh, when uh, they predict a landfall on the western side of Florida. It either goes to the Panhandle or it goes to Louisiana, Texas. And if it goes to Louisiana, Texas, all the oil rigs have to shut down. So we shall see. That's uh, uh, It's supposed to pass by Florida on Wednesday next week. We've talked about the possibility of a perfect storm, and that is something like a storm in the Gulf, uh, the government shutdown, and aliens coming down to probe all of us. You never know what the third one's going to be. But uh, certainly uh, the potential out there is for something we don't haven't heard or talked about yet. 877-927-6648. Uh, government shutdown, we talked about Storm and the Gulf had a question about silver today. And one thing that uh, I've talked to some folks uh, that are in the upper hierarchy of metals uh, that we all know but will remain nameless. And that is uh, why uh, people are getting out of the London Metals Exchange. I heard an argument today. I don't know if the rest of the argument, I never got to hear the end of it, but the beginning part of the argument uh, was that no one's or everybody's uh, leaving uh, or not very active on the London's Metal Exchange. And my response uh, to that is, well, you just screwed everybody over a nickel. I can't imagine anybody wanting to be in the uh, London uh, Metals Exchange anymore, knowing that they'll do anything to save traders at the expense of the people that have the contracts. We'll be back in a minute. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We return a market already in progress over most of TFNN. Uh, we're down 100 points now on the S&P cash. No big uh, whoop there. Again, maybe we test it today. Maybe it's on Monday. Um, right now, the volume is fairly good. We were having problems Monday and Tuesday hitting 6 billion shares when the show started. We're doing about 8.2. Uh, that tracks to about 12 billion on the day. Really needed to break through this on about 16 billion. Uh, this will be more money than or more volume than last time. But again, it, it's the quality of the selling that I think is most important. And that would be, is uh, the retail trader uh, throwing the baby out with the bathwater? I won't see those numbers till tonight. And no real reason to get in front of, uh, of a, a dump truck running down the road at 50 miles an hour uh, to pick up a buck. Uh, a buck. Uh, Probably, you know, the best thing is to see the market just sell off into the weekend and get some real desperation, some real demoralization, some real, um, some real de uh, de uh, depressive action in the market. And I, I continue to get far too many emails of people telling me uh, that the uh, it's time to buy. And it may be, I just don't think it's this minute or probably the next um, and one of the things I did want to share with you folks because I think I have it here let's see if I have it here uh, it was in my newsletter this morning but one of the things I really love is the and what I, I didn't think that there was a, a chance that we were actually going to go higher and I thought there was a 80% chance we gapped lower today uh, was a kind of a wisdom of crowds thing uh, in the uh, uh, PD9 count. Uh, I'm not a big fan of just doing it by itself. Uh, there are uh, kind of a lot of uh, signals that are just a little bit better than a flip of a coin. Uh, but if you put them together, they are much better. I think TD9s are one of those. We had one of the biggest TD8, uh, eight, negative 8 counts uh, in... The, I think I got 20 years of data on the data on the dailies 
but uh, you know we we get more stocks. I haven't normalized it quite yet, but certainly in the last five years, even normalized, uh, we had more TD uh, negative eight counts yesterday than anything, which uh, pretty much means you're going to get a ni negative nine count today, and of course that can go to a negative one, uh, and the way. Uh, Steve uh, Steve Rhodes does it uh, with uh, the guy, the actual guy that does it, uh, means that you can still have uh, your TD nines today, negative nines, and still have maybe Monday or Tuesday before these things resolve themselves. You still have a lot of on sevens and sixes, uh, which those may still roll through for a few days, but uh, you may have at least some capitulation today and or Monday. Uh, this is the chart from yesterday, not today. So um, you've got one that's a little less on the negative uh, six. So maybe uh, you bounce on Monday, maybe you come back on Wednesday, see the end of that uh, selling, and we, we find some kind of low going into the fall. Uh, September is uh, statistically one of those uh, things. Uh, but uh, certainly um, you find lows very often in, in uh, September, uh, you don't have to be a witch doctor or a uh, a uh, rocket surgeon to actually figure those out. But, uh, you know, we go through the rest of next week before we really get into fund buying. And again, a lot of people are going to be looking at next week and saying, OK, government shutdown. We got elections coming. Um what do we do? Do a lot of people stand on principle? Uh, you know, what else happens? And for the reality is it takes about three, four weeks for the government to really shut down, cause any issues. But everybody uh, always wants to uh, go henny penny, the sky's falling, uh, and uh, uh, a lie blame on one side or the other. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to get too excited about throwing a lot of money. We could get a fairly nice bounce, maybe a retest uh, come Wednesday, maybe the clouds lift the end of next Friday. We get a little bit of fun buying. Everybody's washed out. The retail buyers have decided to throw the towel in and the market turns and goes higher for a while. Doesn't mean that we can't come back down and blow this level out yet again, but uh, October tends to be historically a little bit bullish along with the move almost through Thanksgiving. By Thanksgiving, we pretty much know what the retail sales are going to be. If they're bad, generally that is problematic for the market all the way into the first of the new year. 877-927-6648. Uh, I look forward to your emails and other things. So let's go ahead and move this around here. Okay. Uh, Got a couple emails already. Okay, what do you think of the support of US, uh, USO around uh, 6350? Let's take a look at that. Uh, get that back up here. He didn't say what time frame, so we'll take a look here and see. Uh, conference, right? Well, you got fairly good confluence. Let's go back here and look at it. Fairly good confluence at 74.44. That's your big resistance in the USO. And that's going to be tough to get through, 74.44. Not impossible, but that is where your major line of resistance. You have a bigger kind of fatter one out here, and that's why it's so uh, – tough that runs from 6205 to 6643 i'm not exactly sure if they see if you see another one uh that i haven't seen let's go to one year maybe he's looking at something else i'm not uh you got kind of the same thing on a one year a little less on a two year yeah you just got the big fat one now um when they're very tiny and less than about a half a percent or one percent is where I kind of uh, draw the line on them being mushy and then being firm, kind of like picking out a watermelon. You got to thump it. 
a uh, good thump is a very thin line. In this case, 74.44 to 75.17. So what is that? 60 cents on a $74 stock. That is good confluence. This one from 62.05, yeah, 62 66.43 is still going to be tough to get through, but it isn't kind of the wall of... Uh, of a great wall of china um uh, maybe it's like the great wall of china now everybody's stolen all uh the uh, rocks over the last 20 years to build stuff with and now there isn't much left of it but uh we're just in kind of the downside of the support we'll be back in a If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, do a little history and then we'll move on here. Wait. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2008, Google and T-Mobile introduced the first T-Mobile G1, also known as the HTC Dream, the world's first Android-based smartphone. By raw sale numbers today, Android is the world's most popular smartphone platform. Of course, in 2008, they had zero part of the smartphone market. Uh, they'd given up a few years up to Apple. But as they launched uh, this uh phone it would take only three years for them to become the dominant platform and have over half the market but by 2014 they had 80 percent of the market they now have 92 percent of the market with apple having about eight percent of the business uh but since their phones are three or four times more expensive 
uh, they tend to have a lot of margin. And uh, the Chinese phones, uh, Google didn't want to get into that business so much. They do have the, uh, their own phone that they make as an example for the rest. And they do sell some of them, but they never wanted to be in hardware that much. They just wanted to make sure that they had a, a example for the rest of everyone else to go after. And, of course, uh, if you are at the high end, you either have an iPhone or you have a Samsung. But, uh, eh, I have uh, something else. And, you know, I, I just, since I'm home all day trading or being on the TV, I just don't use it that much. Besides, I'd rather talk to somebody in person for the most part. I'm not a big phone talker. Uh, I'm kind of talked out anyway by the time I get done with my show. Uh, okay, so that's it. 2008, uh, you can still own 92% of the market, and at least on the hardware, not make that much money. But uh, that was never the point. The point was to own the market, and Google still does. Uh, let's see, since we started the show out here, uh, what do we got now? Uh, you should see it. Okay. Off 2.66% on the S&P. NASDAQ down 2.7%. Dow 30. 2.5%. Uh, Russell 3.37%. Crude off uh, almost 6%. So, yeah, we're probably coming into some kind of low in crude. Uh, it may take a couple of days to get there. Gold uh, down uh, almost 1.8%. So let's go ahead and get to some charts uh, where we got it. Uh, question about the XLE. Uh, is it Katie Bar the door with the XLE? Well, you're down today. The volume's okay. It's not huge. Um, I would love for it to get slammed down to 65.48 again. Uh, I have some patience, and I am not long, so it makes it a lot easier for me to sit back in the cheap seats throwing peanuts. Uh, but uh, you've got enough volume today that I think – you're certainly going to probably get down in uh, another three bucks. Again, there are some reasons why the economies uh, of uh, the Western nations and China and Asia are all spiraling uh, into uh, the ground uh, worse than the lawn dart. But, uh, yeah, it, you know, we get that 6548. My guess is we're going to probably find some lows. At those lows, we're going to run out of oil in the SPR, and that will probably set some kind of very good long-term trade in crude for a while. Um, I'm also a little dubious about how fast uh, all that European uh, and UK oil and natural gas will actually flow. My guess is they'll have a bunch of people chain themselves in front of everything that moves to make sure that uh, we don't get any more fossil fuels. So, or at least they don't. And of course, uh, it'll be a tough one to say, you know, I, I like all those green folks, but I also not like freezing. Also want to eat something. And of course, natural gas gets made into fertilizer. Uh, and why won't affect the next month or two certainly is problematic. Okay, so we have that one from Hector in the four barrel and the Holly six barrel that I used to have on my 70 CUDA. And let's see, you could call on waiting a day. <laughs> yes, it, it it's hard to buy on a Thursday for me because if you're going down generally uh, or short on a Thursday, if you're already going down, you're probably going down further. And if you're going up, you're probably going up further on Friday. Now, is it 100%? No. But is it 60%? I'd say so. So it is problem, uh, problematic to do that. Uh, we already got to Gary's question on USO. Uh, let me know, Gary, if that solved or answered your question, at least for my opinion. And see what else we have. Okay. In phase. Um, E-N-P-H. Uh, one of the things that uh, I think quietly most people haven't been keeping an eye on is the uh, price of lithium, especially on the exchange in China. It officially uh, broke through 82% uh, higher than I think it was three or four months ago. 
So in a, a four-month strain, the best performing commodity was lithium. Uh, it is a rare earth element, uh, sort of. And the name, probably not good, and the, the, it's rare. No, there's a lot of it. Rare earths, there's a lot of them. The problem is they're just not in any concentrations, except at very few spots where it's economical enough to buy. But uh, we've seen an 80% bounce in a handful of months on the lithium. It's gone from, I think, $38,000 a ton in U.S. dollars uh, on the China exchange to, I think, 74000 today. I think that was the adjusted ones. I should have kept that article up today. Uh, and unclear what that's going to do to the price of uh, EVs. Uh, what we can say, though, is that um, even uh, Tesla is having some problems uh, with the uh, 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 weak market, and it's headed lower. Uh, 265.74 is the next test. It did test the previous high and do so with half the volume. So it does have a valid high sell side. I suspect part of uh, the, the uh, selling in Tesla is not only that, but uh, now we're probably in right now the average uh, EV car around the world sells for more than $100,000 uh, until they get that down to about $35,000. You probably won't see wide adoption. And also, you're not going to see lower-ended models. Somebody brought up in the Tiger's Den the other day that Ford wasn't going to sell any of its low-end models. Um, Tesla advertised a lot of them. They never, uh, ever came out. You could they People ordered them, and they just got put off and put off and put off because all those goodies like screens and other stuff uh, is uh, the gravy of selling a car. I remember in the 1980s, uh, there was a study I read that showed that although the Cadillac sold for the, which was almost exactly the same as the Chevy Caprice at the time, cost $450 more to make, but sold for $4,500. It was like 81 or 80 or something. So there's a lot of margin in those. And of course, that's where they want to, you can only build so many, you're not going to build them cheap. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we return, we're going to go to Great Scott in Georgia. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Thank you very much for your program. I have a question regarding to last Thursday with Mr. Tim Ord. You were asking him several times, are we going to uh, hit the June low? He believed, no, we are not going to June low. What do you think about we, today we are uh, below the June low? What do you think about his opinion? Well, you have to understand where he comes from. Mostly his newsletters go to uh, money managers. And if they trade more than a couple of times in a month, uh, they can go to jail or get fined. So his okay. calls are his calls are generally very far out. And what he's saying in his I'll, I'll interpret for him is that when he said he thinks he's we've seen the lows of the year means we can go back and retest them. But he doesn't think they're going to break. I think if you go back and okay. listen to that show, I think that's exactly what he saw said. But you need to uh, – most of these uh, things like timer of the year and stuff, you need to remember these guys uh, market for forever. Uh, we're yes. money managers and investment uh, professionals uh, are selling uh, their services to invest for a lot of people. My brother did the exact same thing uh, in Chicago. But you, you end up having a, uh, a much different view than a trader that I have. I don't need to, okay. to uh, lock myself in for three months or six months or nine months. But that's exactly what you have to do if you are advising somebody that is in a position where if they trade too much, they lose their license. Does that I help see. a little bit? Yes, sir. Uh, to be okay. honest with you, uh, I am been in this market one year before crash of 1987, Black Monday. I am almost in the market for over 35 or 36 years. But when he was insisting we are not going to the law of June, I believe even you did not believe about his opinion. Uh, I, I, I believe even you, you thought we are going to break the uh, June law. No, I, I think from what I heard, and I've known him a long time, and I traded with him when we had kind of a system that was working uh, that no longer works, but for about four years it worked very well. We were on the phone every day. I kind of understand where he's coming from and how he thinks. But I would say I that if you go back and listen to that show, I think he said we've seen the lows of the year, which means we're probably not going to break those lows. So okay. I don't think he said we're never going to go back. He said he he didn't think we would, which is different than we, right. that we want than we won't. But I think he said he didn't think we would. But uh, I've see. known him long okay. enough that when he's talking about stuff, um, I call him kind of the uh, the uh, glacier uh, kind of trader, and that is that he's he doesn't do anything that lasts a week or a month. Everything he does is nine months. Two years, five years. You know, he's in okay. stuff. I knew him. I knew him 
holding one gold stock for like nine years until the company got bought out. So he's, he's not one to trade quickly. So I would say okay. he's less of a trader and more of a long-term investment. But again, that's his crowd. And I kind of like him uh, being on the air because he gives me the long-term view. But I'm not going to have to sit through it. I don't have any problem with buying and selling I something see. in the next five minutes. But it is I a see. pretty well, – go ahead. Well, what, what do you think about the, at the end of this year? What is your opinion? What do you think the S&P – you believe we are going i know it is very hard to guess but what is your opinion at the end of this year the have you heard me talk about uh fog yes okay so for those people that haven't um i believe that i i let me put it this way i trade like i'm in fog and that is okay. everybody believes uh, that they can see a lot farther than they think they can and that's why there's so many 40 car pileups on the highways in the winter, especially in the winter, snow, fog. But you always see 40, 50 uh, car pileups because everybody believes they can see the same way that they can see uh, when it's in clear air or m most people. And you have to know that you, you just really can't. So for me, I try to put a horizon out that maybe is two months. And okay. right now, we're, we're at the point of a big decision. That is, does this 36, 36 actually hold? You know, is it going to probably be as much volume as we had before uh, where we tested it before? <coughs> probably. But is it going to be a whole lot less than we had before? Also, yes. I think there's a low in there at about 18, million, uh, 18 billion shares on the CBOE. So is that just coming back and... and for its test, which is what I always thought it was going to happen. If when we were talking with him, if you, if you, uh, I just dislike any high volume low uh, not getting retested. And we got okay. it retested. And I, I thought just because of the energy on the way up, that we were probably more in a trading range than anything else. So I'm very interested in the next two days. Uh, there's a lot of signals okay. get to the end of September. Everybody's uh, probably going to freak out about government shutdowns and storms and Russians nuking everything. I mean, to me, it's kind of like everything's on sale when I see those headlines. But it doesn't mean that uh, I'm. it's time to buy quite yet. As, okay. uh, Warren Buffett's, as Warren Buffett says, the stock market's a great way of moving money from the impatient to the patient. So I'm waiting for some kind of burning bush. And every time I've waited, I've been very much rewarded. Same thing in gold. I see. When everybody just hates it and just sick. And I hear people talking at the bar or the restaurant telling me that, you know, the, every, the end is nigh. I love it. Because that's some okay. of the best times I've ever had uh, wins off the looks. So okay. I think Jesse Livermore has a quote. Uh, he says, uh, when you finally get and everybody's completely demoralized, you better cover your shorts. That's because generally you get huge rips in the market that very few are, uh, are uh, prepared for. The downside I is everybody tries to buy those all the way down until they get the big signal. Uh, John from uh, Philadelphia, not that one John, but the other John uh, that's been around a little bit longer, uh, likes to chide me a little bit uh, uh, about uh, me talking about waiting for the fat pitch down the middle of the plate. I don't know if you're a big baseball fan of aficionado, but uh, that's what I'm waiting for. And if I don't get it, that's fine. I'm not too wigged out. I don't have a big fear of missing out. Uh, but uh, I've been able to tee up some huge wins on. Does that kind of answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you so okay. much. I appreciate it. You Have bet. a good weekend. Bye-bye. Thanks for the call. We'll be back in a minute.
Fraser Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN.
Trading in the stock market seems impossible to most 